are going to be champions for the first time ever. 1905 they started football in Gainesville. And they bring home a champion here tonight. Four seconds, three, two. And time has expired. It is a final. The Red Elephants of Gainesville are the state 5A champions. Congratulations to the Gainesville Red Elephant Nation first state championship in school history. You know, for me, um, you know, it's it was it was time. It's an opportunity, and uh, and it was something I needed to pray about and look at. And uh, and me and my family felt like this was what we need to do uh, for our family. And uh, I get an opportunity to to retire, um, but I'm not going to quit coaching by no means. I got plenty of more years left. And uh, but you know, it's not going to be in the state of Alabama. The vision of where I'm going, um, and. There's some opportunities to where I'm going uh, that are going to be unbelievable and may even be unprecedented. And so I'm looking forward to that. I mean, they love football, just like Hoover loves football. I mean, I, I wouldn't, I, I'm not going somewhere where they don't like football. I mean, like, so, you know, I want to be somewhere where people, you know, want to be there on Friday nights. You know, I want to be there when people, you know, they hurt as much as I do on Saturday when we don't win. You know, but they're as excited as I am and probably even more excited than I am on Saturday when we do win. And so um, this will be a place that, you know, they want to make sure that their football program's where it needs to be because, I mean, they understand how important it is not only in their community but also in their school. saying that if our young men follow his lead, 
He will take them individually and our program collectively to a level sustained achievement befitting the third winningest program in Georgia high school uh, history. Red Elephants, it is my pleasure to introduce you to the next head football coach of the Gainesville Red Elephants, Mr. Josh Nibbler. I'm here to make an impact on kids' lives, and I'm going to tell these kids something later on today, and I'm telling you something. It's going to take some work, and you've got to be willing to be committed to it. And it may not be easy to start off with, but I'll tell you this, it'll be worth it. Number one is I didn't come here to win games. We came here to win championships. Because, look, we see it different than everybody else. You're going to see it different. Hey, there's enough average people in this world, all right? We ain't going to be average. We want greatness. I ain't talking about being great. Great's one moment in time. Greatness is a legacy left behind. So when these seniors, I owe it to you coming up. You got an opportunity. Look, I didn't come here next year to win some games. I came here for you to have an opportunity to win a ring, all right? And I ain't talking about, hey, two years, three year plan. I'm not a two year, three year plan. I may not be here in another year as far as I might not be alive, okay? So I work every day like it's the last day. That's what I gotta have out of you. Hey, that's what we got to have out of the community. Let's be all in, all the time. All in, all the time. Hey, I'm going to tell you something. This is a special place. some really great players and coaches some really great coaches but it ain't about just getting to the top it's about staying on top you got me so we're working to get to the top here's the deal you're off season you've been working here you got me how how you gonna stay up there all right how you gonna keep climbing because there's a point now it doesn't matter in any season it doesn't matter how good you are there's average teams that go to being good there's good teams that go to being great and there's great teams that go to be elite all right but when they get to that point, they either go downhill, back to where they were, or they keep climbing. Hey, I'm climbing, you got me? We're all climbing today, as a team and as a family. Thank you. 
My name is Jarius Harris. I just got done putting in the great work for today. I'm looking forward for this season. Go get ready. When we go through recruiting, they don't have to make that decision on their own. They'll sit in my office and we'll talk about it. All right? I will give them advice. I'm going to help them. So, came back from the Georgia Tech spring game. It was a good experience. I mean, some gloves, you feel me? Got some gloves from Makai Scott, Jordan Williams, grass from the Gainesville High School. Full, 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 full. 
All right, so look, <laughs> it was a great experience, you know what I'm saying? We came here. They, they, hold on. We came here. Chill, man. He gonna cut it out, bro. Yeah, he gonna cut it out. Just chill. Yeah, we came here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We had a blast. My boy AD in the cut. You know, you we had some fun. Yeah, we had some fun. Yeah, they showed some love here. Number eighty seven said eight hundred dollars for a glove. Some love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't do nothing. He didn't touch the ball. Yeah, it was a great experience coming to Georgia Tech. You talking about? We appreciate y'all for man. having us. Love. You know what I'm saying? Represent the ball, folks. Get my gloves in oh, yeah, Get the gloves in there. Get the gloves in there. I appreciate Coach Riley for taking us. Facts. Amen.